Is this a bit too silly? It's not the barrel. I do not want to get arrested. This is definitely going to make local news. Five grand. Is that how big it is? It's Dad's famous toothpaste joke. My word, how did you do that? Uh I love my dad very much. He's a man who's warm, loves Les Miserables, and has legally admitted I'm his favourite child. That's just your witness. But his favourite thing in the world, by a long way, has to be dad jokes. I'll get messages out of the blue with some of the best, or maybe worst, dad jokes you'll ever hear. Actually, I owe a lot of my career to my dad's love of dad jokes. The first time I did anything on the radio was when I was on Newcastle Radio, and I did a segment with him where we played dad joke tennis. Uh, the special guest this morning is my old man. Hello, Dad. Hello, young Mac. As you know, that it's all because of you that I've started this segment, because you are the king of bad dad jokes. What do you call a hippie's wife? I don't know. What do you call a hippie's wife? Mississippi. <laughs> you could argue that the entirety of my career, the reason you're watching this video right now, is because of his bad jokes. So I want to do something nice for the biggest dad joke teller I know by taking my dad's biggest dad joke and really making it my dad's biggest dad joke. To me, to you. Now, I don't do things by halves. So if I wanted to tell the biggest dad joke in the world, I needed two things. A bloody big canvas and a massive pen. After you. Have a lovely day. You too, you too. Thank you. Hello, buddy. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, we question, mate, what's the biggest pen that you have? What size are you after? Just the biggest one you've got. I'll, I'll go have a look. <laughs> biggest pen they've got. This isn't going to cut it for the biggest dad joke. I think I need a projector. There's only one man who I can call who has insights into the projecting underworld. Also. <laughs> Hello, mate. Great one. I need some of your contacts in the projecting underworld. Oh, you've come to the right man, mate. I've got projecting underworld contacts coming up the wazoo, mate. Are they quite a secretive bunch? Okay, okay. Do you have any names for me? I do. Got yeah. And how much how much does it cost for a projector? <laughs> You're looking at about five grand probably. Five grand. And that, in that case, I'm going to need a sponsor. And thank you so much for Curve for sponsoring this video. Bye, Allsop. Curve is different. Curve isn't like the other banks. I'm not like other girls. It combines all your credit and debit cards into one card, one app. So you don't need to be messing around at the till when you're going to pay. Oh, God, which card is it? Oh, I've got so many cards. Wish they could all be in one place, though. You get loads of features as well if you have Curve. Like, if I open the app right now, what rewards have we got right now? 31.5% back on Uber Eats, 21% back on Uber. Who doesn't want those goodies? Curve is also pretty cool because they're not just helping me spend money on a massive projector, but they're going to give you some money. So once you've downloaded it, verified your car, and you make a purchase literally as small as 1p, you get a fiver. Five pounds. Here you go. Cheers, Curve. Really appreciate you. You've helped pay for the projector. Now I need a joke. I need a joke now. Um, now, I think I know what my dad's favourite joke is. It's something to do with toothpaste. But um, I actually can't remember what the joke is. Let me just text him. Give me your best joke. I bet you he sends me this toothpaste one. A few moments later. Yes, as I thought, it's dad's famous toothpaste joke. <laughs> Where did the toothpaste meet the toothbrush? I'm not going to tell you the punchline because I feel like this joke deserves to be seen as large as possible and I think I know where this joke is going to go. The Angel of the North, based just outside Newcastle where I started my journey in this industry and the place where Dad and I played Dad Joke Tennis all those years ago. The, uh, the restaurant on the moon, great food, no atmosphere. Boom. The perfect place for the perfect Dad Joke. The 54 metre wide canvas was waiting to receive Dad's joke. 
literally the biggest dad joke that he has ever told. And he had no idea. On the way to the end of the north to make the biggest dad joke in the world, I am driving hundreds of miles for hours for a little bit of fun. Is this a bit too silly? Perhaps. I was well on my way on this 570 mile round trip, but I decided to give my dad a call to see if he had any inkling of what I was about to do. Hiya. Uh... Hello, sweetie boy. How you doing? I was uh, I was chuckling again this morning at your the joke that you sent me yet last week. I think it's so funny. I I knew that you had really good jokes, and I just wanted to remember if there was one in particular. They are very dad jokes, but I love them. Where are you driving? Um, I'm driving up to Newcastle to do some filming today. Oh, no, Have a lovely day. Speak to you later. Thank you, Bye. Bye. He has no idea. Also, can't wait to show him the final picture of that joke on the edge of the north. Just got to do it now. And I was getting closer. There you go, Newcastle, 12 miles away. And we're in range now that we can get the radio station that I played Bad Dad Tennis on all those years ago on the radio now. Oh, it's going full circle and I absolutely love it. There it is, the first shot of the edge of the north. I know I'm getting really nervous. I see it from quite a long way off. It's big. It's big. After five hours of driving, I'd finally arrived and it was time to scope out the area. It's literally exactly what it says on the tin. It's an angel. One thing that isn't spoken about the Angel North, cracking calves. For a project like this, you need a good audience, so I invited my good friend and King of Newcastle, Will Lenny, from the Wilney channel. Yeah. <laughs> You don't know what the jokes are, do you? Well, you don't know what I thought there was just one. You thought it was just one? I thought that you just put one joke. You put more than one joke. More than one joke. <laughs> At least warrants the trip. So we had our audience and our sneaky projector team had arrived. And so it was time to get to work. Is that how big it is? That's the projector. That's the projector? That's enormous. And now it's being used for a dad joke. Thank you very much. Hardy in plain sight, yes please. Me on a building site. I was born to do this. Three guys wearing ivies with the projector. On this cold winter's evening, there weren't many people around, but we still had to be quick and sneaky with the setting up. It's been quite quick with this. I do not want to get arrested. Perfect. No one is here. How do you how do you line it up? That's a big projector. With the projector set up and the jokes loaded in, it was time for the show. That is, that is a big dad joke. Where did the toothpaste meet the toothbrush outside the tube? It, it's just like a dodgy sensor dine advert. It's also more a London-centric joke. Yeah, <laughs> in the North East. <laughs> there it was, my dad's best joke on the biggest canvas I could find. This is definitely going to make local news. And while we were there with one of the world's most powerful projectors, I thought, why not throw a few more jokes into the mix? Gosh, I, it's cold, I can't feel my hands. Is it funny? Because she doesn't have any hands. Yeah, it's <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, really good. Really good. <laughs> can, we get, can we get the next one, please, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> good. This fake tan is a bit strong, what, because of the colour of the statue? Yeah. It's she's night time, Max, <laughs> no one can see what colour the statue is. Uh, this, one, this one was quite funny. This is a new one, this one you haven't seen yet. <laughs> That's quite good. That's better, it's better. <laughs> right, well I'd had my fun and the jokes were up there for all to see, but I think it was only half done as I allowed this to drive all the way back to London and show my dad. I should pack it up. Right. After all that driving, it's time to show my dad. Thank you so much Curve for sponsoring the video. Like, genuinely, guys. Go download it, you get a free fiver when you activate your card and it really helps me make videos like this and they're a really good product so um, make sure you use the code uh, FOSH, the link is in the doobry doo, um, but yeah, right, time dad, please be surprised. Right, um, can you have a seat please? Yeah. You know how I think that you've got some fantastic dad jokes. <laughs> okay, yeah, I will. <laughs> um, I have decided... Truly to, bad, yeah, truly true. awful. And so as a result, I decided that I wanted to honour your dad jokes <laughs> by, um, by making the biggest dad joke in the world. Right. So this is what I did a couple of days ago. 
<laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do you know who that is? That's the that's the thing of the north. That's the angel of the north. <laughs> I've rejected. <laughs> How did you do that? I just thought of the largest possible canvas I could think oh, that's of. That's awesome. <laughs> you gotta see this, BC. And that's me down there for scale. <laughs> well, thank you for your dad jokes. Oh, I appreciate it well. immensely. I'm at least I'm pleased I could fit on the Angel of the North. <laughs> and with that, the honouring of my dad's biggest dad joke was complete. I hope your joke made the people who saw it as happy as they make me. Thanks for all the laughs, Dad. Looking forward to your next random text.